Okay, I just wanted to um, really stress the importance of maintaining your LiPo on batteries. It's very important. When you get them new, they should be in a storage mode. It's kind of just basically like halfway. That's what they should be at. And when you're not using them, you need a professional charger to put them in storage mode or at least a charger where you can set where you want the voltage and capacity to be because voltage and capacity are two different things and a lot of people don't realize that and what happens is say you charge up your battery okay fully charged it says it's done yes put it in the quad and I don't know the winds pick up for a few days and you let it sit then you're thinking ah I'll throw it back on the charger and tap it off, you know, because it could have lost some power. But when you do that, normally nickel metal hydride and nickel cadmium batteries um, are known for that remembering or remembrance. They will remember that last bit, little bit of energy or capacity you put into that battery at the end there. That's not, lipos can do that too. A lipo will not reach its full um, potential until at least around 10 full charge and discharge cycles when you get to 10 the light bulb is at its full capacity you know full potential it will be you know giving you the best power perfect example here's my professional charger I have the H109S X4 Pro battery here and this is the H501S OEM battery. This was the new one that I just ordered. Now I just, just, I discharged them both last night, okay? So, what you can do is, on this particular um, thing here, on my charger, is you can go to extra function. You can measure the internal resistance of the cells. Why don't we do that? They're at 10 and 11. 10 ohms and 11 ohms. That's not that bad for an H501S battery. You can also, this is the very important part. This is checking the capacity of the, of the milliamp hours. Now watch. You select your battery, LiPo, you hold. Now see? It says it's at 7.5 volts, but look at the capacity, 14%. Okay? Charge, but even though it says 7.5 volts, doesn't mean shit. So, it's very, very important to charge and discharge your batteries. And don't let them sit unless you put them in storage mode. So you got charge, fast charge, storage, discharge, and balance charge. And with the H501S, I never charge this over one amp. So I'm gonna hold it. It's gonna check the battery and start. So it's gonna charge at one amp. Now for the X4 Pro, same thing. Go to extra function, measure internal resistance. seven four and three on the x4 pro and this is a big battery this is 7000 milliamp 25c it's a huge battery this thing weighs like four three four pounds compared to the h501s so we're going to go check the volume or the capacity 14 percent even though it's at 11.1 .1 volts it's only 14% charged because I discharged it with make sure you have a professional charger if you want your lipos to last charge fully discharge if you're not going to be using it select the storage mode if you're not going to be using it select storage and it will charge it to where it should be sitting at so 
it's very important to charge and discharge your batteries otherwise you will get premature swelling ballooning all sorts of stuff and also the quad will not act right when you have certain amounts of capacity that are just flying out but I want to balance charge this at 4 amps this is a huge battery and you'll see that now down here is the actual capacity being put into the battery so we're at 2 minutes and 36 percent you know that's milliamp hours right here so for the H501S never charge above 1 amp never the reason being it's only a 10C battery even though it's 2700 milliamp hours so you would think 2.7 it's got such a low discharge rate it needs to be charged slow so she's charging at 4 amps and I just wanted to show you the importance of charging and discharging your batteries or putting them in storage mode when not in use okay guys so the batteries have been charging now this right here the bottom one two three five numbers right there is the actual capacity that this has put into or the milliamp hours is right here it's at 7.68 volts it stops at 8.4 because you got to make sure you shut your capacity cutoff to whatever the battery is rated at. So it's at 2700 milliamps. So, and the X4 Pro battery, this big boy, has been charging for 35 minutes and it has 2383. And that thing, you know, because it's at a 4 amp charge. And that will eventually go to 7,000. That's the capacity cutoff. If you look, 7,000 milliamp hours. This is a very nice charger. And if you don't have one, um, I suggest if you're using the stock charger, charge your battery up, whether it be the H501S or the H109S. But when you buy the H109S, it actually comes with a pretty nice charger. But this one, when you buy the H501S, the charger is pretty generic. So charge it and then immediately, within a few days, go and fly it. And then if you're not going to fly it for maybe a week or so, you got to get it back in storage mode. So you'd have to use a multimeter. You know, it's almost impossible to tell because of the voltage, because you're not seeing the actual capacity that's being put into the batteries that you can with a professional charger so this will stop when this gets to 2700 milliamps so what this does is it uses this microprocessor to keep it from going to 8.4 before it gets to 2700 milliamps it makes sure the battery is fully charged it doesn't just ram voltage in there because you need the milliamp so this one will stop you know the end voltage for any 3 cell should be 12.6 and that's where it's going to stop but it won't stop until there's 7000 milliamps in here and if it detects a problem it will automatically stop okay just another very important thing you should know about LiPo batteries. Capacity is what you need to worry about. Just because the voltage says something does not mean that the battery is fully charged, basically. Okay, thank you.